Hey YouTube, Abram here from Tech Shows U Media, and in this video we're going to be talking about Final Cut Pro X custom export settings. So the reason I'm doing this video is for you people that are going through the same problem as I was going through, and that is that all your videos are taking super long to upload. See, this whole year I've been uploading videos here onto this channel, but each video takes between two to three hours to upload and around an hour to finish processing on YouTube. And for three to five minute videos, that's just a crazy ridiculous amount of time. So I did. Some research and found out a way to use compressor and have my videos upload faster while keeping that same uh, HD quality or that same high definition uh, quality here on YouTube. So uh, without further ado, let's get right into the video. The first thing that we're going to want to do is obviously have Final Cut Pro X open. As you guys can see here, this is the video uh, for the illusion case that I just did. So it's the video before this one. Uh, and this is just uh, the what it looks like when I was editing it here on Final Cut Pro X. So let me just click on that and we're gonna click share and export movie and I'm gonna show you guys this is just what it would look like without having the whole compressor thing uh, as you guys can see here you can select the H.264 uh, and that's pretty much about all you can do uh, you can see your summary of how big your file is supposed to be and all that but that's pretty much everything you can do so let's go ahead and open up compressor and what we're gonna want to do is create a new export um, kind of like setting or preset. So what we're gonna want to do is click on the plus button. This is actually this one right here is the one that I already made, but I'm gonna show you step by step. We're gonna click on the plus button and we're gonna click Quick Time Movie. Now you're gonna set your title. We're just gonna call it uh, Test. So let's do Test. And what you're gonna want to do is go over here to Video and change this to uh, H.264 and then drag your uh, quality a little bit above medium. So just a little bit, not at medium, just a little bit above medium and basically leave everything else the same. You don't have to change anything. And then you're going to want to go to audio and you're going to want to click here and change this to AC, AAC and then uh, change this right here to 44.100. And then we're going to go over here and click best for the quality. Uh, and then you're going to go down to target bit rate and we're going to change that to 256 I believe so we're gonna click that 256 and then you're gonna click OK and then the last thing you're gonna want to do is go to the second to last tab and then you're gonna go over here uh, to the size now it's by default it's 720 by 480 but we're gonna change that to either 1280 by 720 PhD or if you're like me and you want to do really uh, big HD video then 1920 by 1080 I use this one because I have a Canon Rebel T3i and uh, the file size is this so we're gonna set that and we're gonna click save so after you click save you should be good to go what you're gonna what you're gonna want to do is go back uh, into Final Cut Pro and you're gonna click share and instead of hitting send to compressor or export movie you're gonna go to the very bottom and choose export using compressor settings and click on that now uh, here is the one that I made originally and this is the one that I just made with you guys. They're both the same but uh, just for this we're going to click on that one and we're going to uh, actually I'm going to show you guys a summary. Uh, as you guys can see here it says that the file size is unknown but in just a second I'm going to show you guys what the file sizes actually look like. Um, as you guys can see here we have the height and width uh, 920 by 1080 uh, and then the frame uh, frame rate right here so everything should be good if you click next it'll export it I'm not gonna do it because I actually already did this previous to this video so I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like in comparison so let me just hide uh, compressor here uh, now here are the two videos this uh, the first one right here is the one that I made without compressor and this is the one that I made with compressor so let me just get info for this one uh, and as you guys can see here it's 2.41 gigabytes and that's just crazy again because it was like a four minute video and then we're gonna go over here and this is the one that I did with compressor if I get info it's a 92.6 so again huge huge difference this one took three hours to upload and it actually didn't finish uploading I waited around four and a half hours and it still wasn't done uh, so I got really frustrated canceled that and then did this whole thing and this one only took 13 minutes if I'm not mistaken so again huge difference and I hope this helps you guys it sure helped me I hope it helps you guys uh, and that's basically all I have for you guys today so again I really hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys have any further comments or questions as always leave those down below in the comment section now I'm gonna be typing up a full review of this or a full written tutorial uh, on tech shows you or, or tech it out news so I'll have a link to that down below in the description you guys can go check that out there along with any other link that 
I would have mentioned in this video. Now before I go, I just want to mention one thing. The only downside to this whole thing is the compressor actually costs $50 in the Mac App Store. So I did go ahead and buy that software. I highly encourage you guys to buy it and not pirate it because um, you know, the, there's that whole legal issue there. But um, I, went, I went ahead and bought it. Uh, and if you guys want to go through this whole thing, compressor is $50 in the Mac App Store. Uh, now, that being said, it, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, if you guys want to see more videos like this or you just want to keep following us here on YouTube, as always, please remember to hit that subscribe button, which is now down below this video. It used to be above the video, but now it's below. So again, hit that subscribe button. All right, YouTube, this has been Abraham from Tech Shows U Media, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.